Part 1 Skeletal Anatomy In this video lesson, you will learn how to draw a female model with the full understanding of skeletal and muscle anatomy. Let us begin with the skeleton sketch. The model is lying on her side and her spinal column is curved upward. In female anatomy, the height of the face is equal or slightly bigger than the height of the pelvis. In our drawing, the pelvis lies horizontally, so its height will be measured from the top of the iliac crest to the bottom of sitting bones. In the front, there is the breastbone. Its length is equal to the height of the face. With two small circles, I marked the heads of the upper arm bones. From above, they are protected by the acromions of the shoulder blades. The acromion is a bony projection on the shoulder blade, which connects to the collarbone. The model's left arm is raised upward. You can see that the upper arm bone is touching the acromion of the shoulder blade. As you already know, the first seven pairs of ribs are true ribs. The next three pairs are false ribs. And the last two ribs are floating. The rib cage is the widest of the eighth pair of ribs. The hand consists of 27 bones. There are eight carpal bones, bones of the wrist, five metacarpal bones, which form the hand's block, and 14 phalanges, two phalanges of the thumb, and three phalanges by each finger. The length of the hand is equal to the height of the face. Using red pencil, I will mark the outline of the model's body.